got fluffy shower hair. <laughs> <laughs> so this morning's job is a washing machine repair mission for the in-laws. For so Granny! Yes, for Granny. So we've got to nip across to the unit and pick up a toolbox <laughs> and then go to Edwinsdale and fix a washing machine. Granny's washing machine. Yeah, it's Granny's washing machine. You're right in the back there. Wow. I might have a lot of wells. You always have something. Just a second. This one's upside down. Looks like the lid did not slide too far. And that one's cured. Look at all the foam that's jizzed out of it. Wonderful. And yeah, I'm happy with that banding. Looks pretty smart. Right. Oh. I was going to say, enough procrastinating. Let's get started. But I'll pick these tools up and we'll put together a comprehensive toolbox that should allow me to repair the washing machine. So you've got to remember when you're doing something like this, <clears throat> these machines, they're all modular. They're all made out of Lego, basically. They're all pretty much Lego parts and once you get your head around what goes where and what's, what it does then repairing something like a washing machine or a tumble dryer or a dishwasher um, it's all all the same all the same simple simple really so let's have a think what we're gonna need Jesus Christ I need to get in here with airline Right, well we'll take a Stanley knife in case I have to cut anything. A couple of spanners in case I have to ream on any bolts. Some plumber's grips and some mole grips in case I have to undo any springs on hoses and such like. A full set of screwdrivers. Um, that's probably do us actually. Shouldn't really need a hammer, shouldn't really need a saw. Uh, let's take some pin nose pliers, large and small. And some wire cutters. So basically she said that uh, it won't drain or spin. So I'm guessing before I get there that we could have an issue either with the pump, the pump's blocked, the water won't drain, therefore it won't spin because it won't want to spin with a drum full of water or we have an issue somewhere else the bushes on the motor for instance preventing it spinning don't have any bushes if it's that we'll have to order some in for her but uh, if it's the pump we'll probably fix it today provided it's not an electrical failure anyway enough rabbiting let's go and diagnose this problem to the meat of her so uh, yeah we need to get down the back edge down to the I don't really want to take the pump off but I think that's where the problem's gonna be down here and the old pump housing all right so we've got the pump apart and we found the problem some fluff stuck in the impeller so we get rid of that we'll reassemble the pump if I can remember which way it all went I think it was like that somehow and uh, we'll slot it back in it was like that Which one 
washing machine fixed and we're currently enjoying the ham that I hand picked yeah. and cooked yesterday oh it's divine and also when we picked up the strawberries I managed to get some local honey for the hay fever check this out look at those little beauties three counties honey birch hill shire oaks works hot the set honey tastes really like lemon lemon curd the other one's a nice strong honey tasting honey both of them are fantastic what's all the commotion <laughs> Hello, young man. Oh, we have a little body. What is that? I can see him. Oh, he's back. Yep, he's there. Where? Can you see him, Dom? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, guys. He's on the back for five years. See him. He's on the roof. Oh, I see him. He's underneath the bus. Oh, that's enough excitement for one day. I'm going to have to go and sit down. Well, Gemma has gone into town to Aldi to pick up something for tea. Jesus Christ. Look at this bloody spoon out. And uh, I'm not going anywhere else today now, so it's just a short one for the Sunday edition boys and girls but before I go I'm going to try a bit of this beautiful beautiful looking golden local honey oh my gosh mmm outstanding so anyone who's got a fever, I wholly, I absolutely recommend finding some local unpasteurized honey and a spoon a day. Keeps the hay fever away. So I'm gonna sit down in front of the television and watch the Formula One Azerbaijan Grand Prix race. And we will see you bright and early Monday morning. Cheers.